Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habiti fillah The question was asked Assalamu alaikum Akhuna Kareem I have a question I would like you to address or rather give advice I'm studying Nahu wa Sarf I'm on book 3 Medina I can read and write great and I also am able to understand the structure of sentences Alhamdulillah I'm not where I want to be, but my major issue is vocab. How do I increase in vocabulary? Because sometimes I find myself reading a page or two, not needing to look a word up. And sometimes I spend so much time looking words up, making my studies longer. Please advise me. Uh, first and foremost, with regards to studying, uh, the Arabic language, uh, the most important advice that I can give is mumarasa, wa'adama in kita, is being consistent, continual, and not stopping. And I've mentioned this myself about my own weakness uh, due to several reasons, but two primary things is uh, starting off and then quitting. You know, because I had to, you know, I left the country and then I got back in America and then I had to, you know, of course, make a living and do, you know, all the things that you have to do. But I and I didn't have a teacher or whatever and so on and so forth. And then coming back and studying some more Naho, getting, you know, getting really starting to get in the groove and benefit, then stopping again, then coming to Saudi And so the point is, uh, one of the things, and I remember sitting with Sheikh uh, Abu Salah al-Afghani, uh, Muhammad, uh, I know him as Abu Salah, but uh, he's one of our Kuwaiti scholars. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve him, and he's doing such fantastic, phenomenal work uh, calling to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and with the other mashayikh there, Sheikh Falah, Ismail, and the other mashayikh in Kuwait. And anyhow, we were visiting uh, Sheikh Abu Salah at his home. And he was telling us the story of his seeking knowledge. And he said a lot of the tulab al-ilm that he started out seeking knowledge with in Kuwait, now they call him, this was at the time when he lived in Medina, when he was working on his PhD, before he finished it. And he, he said that, you know, he would get calls from Kuwait now. His old uh, colleagues who used to seek knowledge alongside with him, with Mashaikh, like Sheikh Falah and others, meaning that they sought knowledge from Sheikh Falah and others, that they now would call him and ask him questions because of Inkitha, because they stopped and he kept seeking knowledge and kept benefiting. And so he was just uh, driving home the importance of that, and I can't stress that enough because I've seen that with myself. Uh, as far as vocabulary, uh, some people, they get into note cards. I was that kind of person in the note cards and stuff. But I found that really a lot of that, uh, unless you practice it in context, you don't have, uh, you know, vocabulary, as they say in, in English books, vocabulary in use. So you need to make tatbik. You need to be able to practice that vocabulary. And one of the things that used to frustrate me when I was really studying a lot of nahu is I was getting good at Arab, you know, you could give me a sentence and I could tell you fi'l fa'al maf'ul bihi mabni al fat you know and you know mabni lil and you could you could use all these terminologies and use and do the Arab, but I didn't understand the meaning of some of these basic sentences because of the vocabulary so it's really a combination of both but what I would say is yes you could take that path of using note cards and you know taking vocabulary I used to have these uh those uh notebooks I used to carry around with all these vocabulary words in English and Arabic and I would uh, you know and try to write sentences sometimes with it unless you're writing sentences and using them you know you will a lot of times forget it and so when you look at the way children acquire language that it's just listening it's listening and, and copying and I'm just flabbergasted is the best word that I can use when I look at my three-year-old baby girl, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve her, the way she picks up stuff, 
You know, I mean, just absorb stuff. And you got to be careful every word that you say around them, every single word, because they will come out with something out of the blue. You're like, what? You know, how in the world did you know that? And, and <laughs> you know, it's, it's absolutely amazing, especially with technology. So my advice is keep reading like you're doing and just be patient. It's going to come. You'll be amazed. Now I'm amazed that, you know, I'm not studying Arabic, but just, uh, you know, I can pick up many, if not pick up most of my books and understand a, a significant amount of it without having to go to the dictionary, unless it's something very technical, unless it's something very technical or something that just missed me. Some vocabulary words just miss you. There might be a very basic word. So for us who are not native speakers, then we need to. I, I keep my dictionary close at hand, you know, so there's no, aib, there's no problem with that. No shortcomings. We're not Arabs, we don't, you know, and those people. But what I would say is immersing yourself as much in the language. So if you're in the UK and you're studying, then, you know, if you can practice with Arabs. But what's going to really help you is listening to the Durus of the Mashaikh. So this is what I want to emphasize. Start listening in t immensely with Ben Othaymin uh, because he's very clear and, you know, and easier to understand. Fozan speaks very slow. Listen to him as well and they speak also you know uh which in a way to address the common people there are some mashaykh that speak on a very high level of vocabulary that you know is going to be very difficult to understand or that their sound you know for example if you want to listen to bin baz it's going to be very difficult because he's very diff you know his recordings are older and they, and he was old in age unless you get something where he was a little bit younger and very difficult you know especially for a beginner to understand uh, but uh, anyhow, I would advise listening to a lot of durus and following along. That's going to give you the vocabulary that you want and that you need. Uh, just listening constantly in your car. Uh, Arabic, 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 Arabic durus to the Mashaikh, And you're going to benefit. You're going to benefit in your deen and you're going to benefit in your Arabic language. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.